Hi, welcome to channel 16. In this session, we're going to talk about leading and lagging indicators, what is commonly known as key performance indicators. I'm your trainer for this particular session. So, so what we're going to look into are these four important things, what and why of an indicator, what are leading and lagging indicators and their importance, choosing an indicator for a process, and we'll also discuss some examples of indicators and some processes so that you can work uh, in similar indicators in, in your organization, in your processes. Now, what exactly is an indicator? It's a measure of how a process is performing. For example, I mean, if we take a, a diabetic patient's sugar level, if monitoring his sugar level regularly, to see whether they are in the acceptable range or not. By monitoring and tracking the blood sugar level, the physician is in a position to sort of assess the health of the patient and uh, the patient's sugar level. So what exactly is this? The sugar level being monitored is an indicator in very simple terms. It sort of indicates the, the health of a patient. Now let's go to some on a, a marine sector. Let's look at a marine example. Lost time incident frequency or LTIFR. You know, it's a, it reflects the safety standards of a company. It's nothing more than a reflection of what has been the safety performance of a company in the past. Now there's an important thing out here. You know we all have heard about the Exxon Valdez vessel that grounded in the uh, Alaska and. Uh, uh, in 1989 and there was about a hundred thousand metric tons of oil spill in the Valdez area of Alaska. Now this particular company had uh, no incident for 20 years prior to this grounding. So while so the LTIF FIR can be set as close to zero for the Exxon company but uh, that doesn't really mean too much. Why? Because it talks about the past and it doesn't necessarily talk about what's happening in the present. So uh, this is what is called as a lagging indicator. It only re is a reflection of the past mistakes. So as such, in the last 20 years, the there was nothing that, no incident that was reported where the Exxon company claims to and hence their past was wonderful. But that does not guarantee the well-being in the future. So, lagging indicators tell us something about how we have been in the past, but they do not guarantee that our performance in the future will also be good. Now, what exactly is a lagging indicator? It's a measure of our past performance. How did we do in the past? Like, for example, we've just done LTIFR or average weight of a body, you know, that's or machinery, number of machinery breakdowns in a year. So that's like a lagging indicator. So we are not discussing the leading right now. We're just looking at the lagging part. So lagging indicators are easy to measure. Why? Because you can obtain the data of incidents from the incident reports. You can obtain the breakdowns from the breakdown reports and the failure reports. So data is easily available in records. So uh, and like again, lagging indicators tell us how good or bad or ugly the organization has been in the past. But for an organization to improve in the future, they certainly need a balance between leading and lagging indicators. So we'll be talking about what exactly is a leading indicator. Leading indicators measure good actions to be implemented and measured to reduce the bad and ugly of a past performance. So if, I, if our LTIF R is high and we want to reduce that so we would need to have also a bunch of leading indicators measuring the good actions is measuring a leading indicator now let's look at some examples of lagging and leading so we have LTIFR lost time incident frequency as a lagging indicator we can balance it with measuring the safety training hours for ships personnel or office personnel or senior officers we have a lagging indicator average weight of a body per year and then we can have calories consumed per day so you can have consumption of calories 
gives you an idea as to what where you stand. Number of main uh, main engine breakdowns a year uh, versus let's say measuring the quality of spares and the quality of suppliers. At the end of the day, there could be problems with the quality of spares, and that could be one of the reasons for uh, main engine breakdown. Now, leading indicators are a bit of a challenge. Why? Because the data is not easily available and it's not easy to measure. It requires some effort. It requires allocating resources, right? Data need not be readily available, but it has to be captured from relevant processes. So leading ind indicators are, you can sort of call it as predictive. They, they tend to predict the future performance. For example, if you look at, uh, you know, a, a child going to the school, so you look at a lagging indicator, it's something like the grades and marks obtained. And how, uh, how about the leading indicator for that? Hours spent in learning or studying or in the library. So that could be a leading indicator. And that uh, time could facilitate in improving the grades and marks of that child. Now, it's also very important to choose the right indicator for a process. The reason is that you, it will be not appropriate to have too many things to be measured in a process. So in a process, you may have one or two uh, uh, parameters to be measured. So you need to pick the right one. So uh, for example, share price of a stock company, it indicates, uh, inf it provides information about an activity or a process. So in other words an indicator so a uh, share price provides something some information some indication about a company <clears throat> now these indicators are used by the management to decide the future strategy as to what they need to do if the ltifr is high then how do they what are the things that they need to implement to bring that down so as such, like we said, whether it's a leading indicator or a lagging indicator, collection of data is very important. And that would certainly require resources, allocating resources, people uh, for collect, collecting the data and analyzing the data. Hence, it's very important to select the right indicator or indicators in a process. Now, what is important for us to understand is that we only measure what we value. Or what we consider as important so it's very important that whatever indicators you wish to measure you have to first understand do they make value for the organization is that information important for the organization is that information important for bringing down the LTIFR or whatever right so it's very important that uh, we pick the right uh, indicator or indicators now, to pick the right indicator, it's also very important that we have a good understanding of the of the process. So, the good understanding of the process is very important, and and more importantly, what are the objectives of the process? For example, if we look at a bunkering operation, the bunkering operation process, you know, the the objectives are that it's carried out in a safe manner, no spills, and very important that the ship figures and the barge figures or the shore figures the difference remains within the tolerable limit so these are something like the objectives of the process now let's have a look at some leading and lagging indicators so it's very important that you have a mix and you of leading and lagging indicators in your basket so that uh, you know your leading takes care of future lagging tells you about your past so now some we look at a process like for example the sms review then the number of valuable inputs it's like a leading indicator and a lagging indicator would be non conformities related to a procedure or a process let's look at pms and maintenance training engine room personnel on maintenance is a leading and machinery breakdown is a lagging auditing training on auditing processes that auditors could well trained and lagging is number of process related non conformities that add value right now if you look at one of these let's say look at the machinery breakdown now that's a lagging indicator so you may if you wish to let's say reduce your machinery breakdown you may need to carry out measurement of this quality of spares inadequate operation of the machinery 
not adequately experienced. So these could be some of the reasons. Uh, I mean, this is just an indicative list. So you need to prepare your own list where you will be measuring that my machinery breakdown occurred due to what reasons. So this way you can analyze your lagging indicators and also know where you stand. Thank you for giving us your time for this particular session.